na nashukuru Mungu sana tumeweza kupelekana vizuri na furahia sana kuwa na nyinyi mahali hapa tukiwa tu tumesimama hivyo tutachukua bibles tufungue the book of hebrews hebrews 13 um, from verse 8 hebrews 13 from verse 8 ni verse rahisi sana na tunapenda kuisema sana na inasema Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever more tu, tuisome pamoja Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever more tuweze kuomba Father Lord we thank you we bless you for your word today we are grateful that we are here ready to listen to you Father Lord may you manifest your presence in this place May we be able to listen to what you are going to say through me King of Kings the Lord of Lord and King of Kings the Lord of Lord after this sermon let us not be the same as we were as we began this sermon we thank you and we bless you for it is in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen tuweza keti chini na karibisha ambao wako na sisi Facebook live Mungu awabariki sana na zidi kuainua thank you for taking your time through your phone ama through the TV kuamua uh, tuta worship pamoja di wainua Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever na title letu ya leo ni that same Jesus kila mtu sema that same Jesus hiyo ndo leo nataka tuweze kuongelea kidogo that same Jesus ama Yesu hakuwa anaongelelewa ama kuanzia kuongelelewa in the book of Matthew Mark Luke John venye huwa tunadhani in fact Jesus alikuwa described in the beginning na in the beginning ukisikiza Mungu alisema let us make na how let us make ilikuwa a combination of God the Father God the Son who ni Jesus Christ na the Holy Spirit Again pia wakati Adam and Eve walifanya dhambi kuna prophecy ambayo iliongelewa na Mungu mwenyewe na alisema that the son out of the womb of the woman will come and bring victory. So ukiangalia the history of Christ sio venye tunonanga in the book of Matthew ama tunaweza detect in the book of uh, um, Isaiah ambao tunaona Isaiah kiprophesy the coming of the Messiah Jesus Christ alianziwa kuongelelewa kitambo. Na wakati alikuja the same manifestation to God no na happen then though the Bible inasema he is the same today na again the Bible inasema forever will he be. The same then wakati alikuwa kuna manifestation ilikuwa ina happen. Bwana asifiwe. Na pia wakati alienda akaacha the disciples The Bible inasema wakati the disciples walikuwa nasema in the name of Jesus rise up and walk bado the same same power in Christ alikuwa ndio ilikuwa ina happen. In fact Yesu aliambia the disciples that you will do more than I have been doing. And so tumeingia in a generation yenye tunaona Jesus Christ ama tunaona the name Jesus Christ is just a normal name. Na ndio maana inafika a point when tukiona churches zina perform miracles tukiona pastor anafanya this and that in the name of Jesus tunaanzia saa zingine kukua in doubt bwana asifiwe i know technology ime change i know things ime turn around but the one thing that remains is the name of Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever more mbona tunaongelea leo a very simple message najua mmenizoea maybe na saa zingine a hardcore message ile message inakukaa chini na unafikiria le holy spirit ametupea a very simple message ya kujua who we are dealing with uliza mwenzako unajua una deal na nani bwana sifiwe unajua mtoto wa mtu mkubwa ama tajiri akishikwa na polisi tu traffic police ama polisi wa kawaida mwenye wako wanatembeanga along the streets kuna kitu hao watoto hupenda kusema unajua baba yangu ni nani and then hiyo kitu hata kama saa zingine polisi anaonekana ashtuki anakuanga curious sana 
Kuna one time ni maisimamisho na traffic police na aliniuliza one question akaniuliza babako ni nani at that time si kuradanisha mbona aliniuliza hiyo swali until the time tumeachana na yeye kwa sababu nili notice hiyo jina huwa inawatriga kidogo bwana asifiwe and hiyo ni jina ya binadamu ambayo ina trigger binadamu wengine now kuna jina ambayo the bible inasema by the mention of his name the demons tremble na wakati unajua the value of what you have ndio utajua the importance of dwelling there Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forevermore the bible again inasema that even when we are faithless he is still faithful hiyo tunaweza prove kwa biblia wakati alikuja hata kama aliperform miracles bado kuna watu walimdeny ukweli ama uongo kuna watu walisema crucify this man na wanaona this person ali create a very good atmosphere ya healing ali raise the dead but again alikuwa faithful to them same applies now hata the bible inasema even now when we are faithless he is still faithful bwana asifiwe the reason mbona naongea hivi ndo tujue wakati tunakuja kwa kanisa tuweze kumwabudu who are we worshiping hatujakuja tu kuimba wimbo hatujakuja tu uh, sandi imefika pia pro unajua kuna ni kama tu kazi kazi ujisikie kwenda ama usijisikie kwenda lazima uende kwa sababu iko kwa program ya mande lazima hapo ukue kazi at this time ukweli ama uongo unless kuna some unavoidable circumstance ndio inakufanyanga usiende lakini watu wengi tunaenda job kwa sababu ni a weekday na lazima tukue uh, available kwa hiyo workplace same case to some christians when wanaenda church kwa sababu ni sunday so since ni sunday wacha niende church ukiuliza mtu mbona unaenda church anakuambia ni sunday na ukiuliza mtu uh, mbona leo unajua hata saa zingine na akaanga chini na angalia status unaona kwa status sunday ndo status inakuanga imejaa nyimbo za Mungu eh, ndo inakuanga ime, imejaa zile christian comments eh? na zile verses za za sunday lakini tukiingia monday vitu zimechange kuna wakati tulikuwa high school wakati uh, nilikuwa high school entertainment ikifika saturday hakukuwa hichezo wa gospel yote na ukiambia entertainment prefect ucheze gospel anakuambia kitu moja leo sio sunday bwana asifiwe and so napata watu kama hao how understand who they have ama who they are dealing with Jesus Christ is not a Sunday person became. Jesus Christ is an all day person number one. Kwa hivyo nafuku kijua every day that I wake up I am not alone there is someone who is with me. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua mara mingi based na venye things zinaenda na zile distractions zina happen into our lives tumeanzia kukua wale watu tunapuuza Yesu during the weekdays ikifika on Sunday pekee ndo tunakumbuka wa tunafaa tukue holy kuna watu tunaweza agree hakuna mtu anaweza anaweza inua mkono hapa but kuna mtu last kufungua bible ilikuwa Sunday lakini nikiambia inue mkono hakuna mtu anaweza inua mkono kwa sababu mimi usema kwa kanisa tunajifanyanga wale watu tuko super power tuko strong and all that But napata watu wengi hatuko serious into it. Wakati unajua who you are walking with, who you are dealing with. Na sisemi hivi in the name of atile kuogopa kutetemeka. Na sema hivi ndo tujue the value tunafaa tupatie Jesus Christ. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua in a, a, wakati mtu ana pass anakumbukanga for a short period of time. Ukweli? Naweza agree hapo anakumbuka only for a short period of time in fact uh, okay, reality ni immediately after huo mtu amezikwa watu wanafikiria kukula and so naonanga hao venye huo mtu kusahaulika ni mbio but the name of Jesus Christ the bible inasema immediately after he ascended into heaven his name was made great above the heavens and below the earth to a point that wakati una mention in the name of Jesus things inaanzia kumanifest 
Now unafuga ukijua wakati una mention the name of Jesus sio tu kuonyesha your kuona at in, in your prayer iko effective ama iko sawa wa, lazima u believe wakati una mention that name Jesus that thing must change Bwana asifiwe. Yesu hakuambia tu pastors pekee, hakuambia tu present worship pekee, hakuambia tu intercessors pekee. Only you wakati mna mention the name of Jesus things will change. That power iko assigned into everyone. Sema into me. Na wakati iko assigned into you, unaweza jipata in a place in a situation na hiyo place unaweza pigia the pastor that you know akose kuchukua simu. Kwanza umpate ako na stress zake akwambie tenda kupigia baadaye. And so lazima uko kijua that same Jesus mwenye ana working in the pastor that I know is the same same Jesus that will work in this situation that I am in. And so unajipata unakuwa na confidence enough Bwana asifiwe. Kuna one um, uh, one Roman uh, aitwa ngaje? Nimesawa hiyo jina nyingine but alikuwa a Roman person. Na wakati alikuwa ameita Yesu number one akuje a heal his servant. But along the way huyo soja akaambia Jesus there is no need of you coming to my place because i believe in authority and whatever utasema ukiwa hapo it will happen into this place now the problem with us mentioning the name jesus is not a problem the problem in akwanga a blind faith wakati una mention the name jesus bwana asifiwe hiyo ni nakwanga the problem with christians ku mention the name of jesus it's an easy thing in fact leo hata before ni before ni simame kuhubiri i believe we mention that name jesus mara mingi ukweli but the faith that inakuja after mentioning that name do inakuanga a problem so inakuaje una mention the name jesus by your stripes i am healed and then immediately after ku mention that name unaenda kwa rafiki yako na mwambia by the mission ni kipona And so even though tumekuwa most of us tumekuwa tukistalk ama tukispeak the name but not applying that name into our lives. Na the writer anatuambia that same Jesus mwenye ali heal. That same Jesus mwenye the apostle awali heal through his name. He's the same same Jesus that even in your situation wakati una mention his name unakuwa healed bwana asifiwe hata technology ikuwe kubwa aje hata government ibadilike after government there is that one name yenye haitawai change and that is the name yenye tunafaa tukuwe dependent on unaambia Christ Jesus Lord I am here because I still depend on you He haijaandikwa tu just kufurahisha your heart bwana asifiwe inakuambia that you need to remember that this name even after 2000 years this name is powerful when he was like like the time he was available here on earth bwana asifiwe and so then i mean tumefika a point tuna mention to jesus and atufanya tu tuone this is just a normal thing to go like in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and so najipata inakuwa just a Ding yenye tu umezoea hata unapata how only the impact yenye ina bring into your life kwa sababu umeizoea na every time niwaambia Christ na mwambia every time naingia in your presence sitaki kuingia kama nimezoea hiyo place bwana asifiwe kwa sababu the moment unaingia kama ati hapa nimezoea how tezza ku experience the impact of that name And so kwa churches tumekuwa tumeingia tu ndio maana nimesema watu wengi tunakuja tu church juni Sunday. So kama ingekuwa Sunday hatungekuja church. Bwana asifiwe. But kama unakuja church hata kama unapata a, a chance on Sunday kukuja, unaambia Mungu Lord sitaki kukuja ku kama mtu mwenye amezoea hii place. Na raha kuja kama mtu mwenye ako ready for a new manifestation that hata wakati una unajireveal into my life sitasema ah nimezoa hii life Bwana asifiwe Uliza mwenzako who is Jesus Christ to you Acha na history yenye tunajua kwa sababu watu wengi watasema the son of god hiyo ni history umesoma 
Do you believe that? Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu the Bible inasema whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Na kuperish mara mingi tunaganga tu story ya hell. Kuperish unaweza perish na uko still alive. Bwana asifiwe. Sijui kama unajua hivyo. Yaani uko alive tukikuona uko okay. Tukikuona unaimba worship, unaimba praise, but in real sense already umesha perish. And so unapata watu wengi hatu realize that thing. Na dhani tuko perish pekee ni wakati umekufa na umeenda hell. You can be alive but you are still dead at the same time. Kuna mtu aliaga this code na hiyo code nilifikiria sana. Alisema I have been dead while I'm still alive. And the moment nitakufa si imaanishi ati ndo nimekufa at the moment imemaanisha now nime close my eyes. And so nikakuja ku notice watu wengi at the moment tuko dead but still alive. Mbona tuko dead but still alive and yet we are called Christians? Is because how do you watch you are applying ama watch you are believing ama who you are believing. So what wengi yes we know Jesus Christ but pia what wengi we do not believe in Jesus Christ. Bwana asifiwe. Na ndio maana in the book of Matthew anasema aje that you will say you used my name but nitasema sikujui why. It is okay you used my name but you did not believe. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati una believe in something unapatanga hata the way you are setting your ways zina change. Ni kama for example wakati nime believe na hii mic kuna difference na niki believe na hiyo mic. Hii mic nimeekelea kwa masikio na nimeekelea hii side nyingine na nimeekelea receiver yake hapa. But wakati nitaamua ku change sitakuja naekelea hii mic nyingine hapa kwa masikio. Why? Kwa sababu I believe and I know how it works nita apply a different role. Sijui kama tunaelewana hapo vizuri ama natumia ama natumia language mingi. The thing is wakati una believe in someone you are ways pia zinaanzianga ku change. Unaanza kujua this is how I am supposed to do this is not how I am supposed to do this is how I am supposed to apply this is not how I am supposed to apply why because I believe what I walk in this manner according to his name this thing will happen to my life Bwana asifiwe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever na nataka ugo kujiuliza nimekuwa nikiapply aje the name of Jesus into my life Nimekuwa tu nikiomba just for the sake of kuomba ama nimekuwa nikiamini wakati naomba na nime apply the name of Jesus that thing will manifest. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna one time nimekuwa before that thing happen niliombea about your situation. Na wakati hiyo kitu ilianza ku happen nikajipata naanza kushuka kidogo. And so nikaanza kuomba ni kama sikuwa nimeomba a while ago na si sema ufai kuomba tena. And then the Holy Spirit akaniuliza kwani hauamini what you prayed before kwa sababu the way you are praying right now ni kama like you never prayed at all bwana asifiwe and so nikaanza kujiuliza mbona naanza kuomba hivyo and so nikaanza ku change how i am praying nikaanza kuambia yesu lord i know that you are still going to do the way i prayed about i still know that nothing is going nothing bad is going to happen hakuna yani unaanza kuomba ni kama unajua this thing is accomplished why because you are not just praying for the sake you are applying the name of jesus in that area Bwana asifiwe. So tunafuata tukue watu wenye uko na confidence na this man Jesus kwa sababu watu wengi tuko na confidence na this man Jesus. Lazima tukue confident na the man Jesus unajua this man when I mention his name every wall of Jericho yenye ime stand before me must go down. This man when I mention his name every sickness yenye imekuwa diagnosed to me it must end in Jesus name. Unasema niki mention his name any kind of limitation yenye imekuwa before me must end. Bwana asifiwe. If people like David wenye hawakuwa na Jesus at the moment but walikuwa wanajua kiingia kwa hiyo battlefield I just have five stones physically but I have the name of God. Na najua in this name of God 
I will be able to defeat this giant. Huyo ni mtu mwenye hakuwa revealed to Jesus. Alikuwa tu anajua God yawe and asked to go reveal to the holy trinity God, Jesus and Holy Spirit. But still we are not being impactful at all. Julize what is wrong with me? Bwana asifiwe. And so tunaingia another moment ya ku praise na ku worship. Unaingia tu ku praise na ku worship because ni time ya praise na ku worship. Ama unaingia ku praise na ku worship kwa sababu now it is my time to be with Jesus. Uko hapo ukisikiza neno unaona Malcolm ama unasikiza the Holy Spirit talking to you. Lazima uanze kujiulizia question kwa sababu wakati unaji identify who you are, whom you are with, utaona you are becoming different and different and different. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna one friend ali, 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 aleka kwa clip kwa TikTok akasema people will never agree that you have grown. Wanasemanga tu umechange. Leo ni ukweli. In case for example um kukuja mtu mwenye hajaokoka aokoke. Na after ameokoka anzie ku na anzie ku speak in tongues. Sisi wote tutakuja tuseme aje umechange. But in real sense huo mtu ame grow. Bwana asifiwe. And that is what happens wakati unajua the value of who you have. If the Bible inasema if Christ is for me who can be against me? Any situation unaenda unafaa ukijua here Christ is with me. And maybe at the moment inaweza shtua kidogo but I still believe I will conquer. Bwana asifiwe. Because you know who you are dealing with. You know Christ the Messiah lives in you. Bwana asifiwe. Najua watu wengi wame watch mostly watoto. Kuna hii movie inaitwa Lion King. Sisi kama wame watch. Na kuna this king, akuwa king at the moment but ni lion, aitwa Simba. Na alikuwa amefanya something bad to a point that akasahau identity yake. Na wakati before arudishe identity yake, akaambiwa look unto the water. Akaangalia maji anajiona. But now the person akamwambia focus kabisa ni nini unaona. Na wakati alifocus akaanzia kuona babake. And then at the end of the story um akaambiwa your father lives in you. Na since your father lives in you, he was a king. Start acting like a king. Bwana asifiwe. And to us by faith Christ lives in us. So if Jesus conquered lazima tukue wale watu pia wana conquer Bwana asifiwe If Jesus did this and that lazima tukue wale tunafanya this and that Bwana asifiwe If Jesus prayed for long hours lazima tukue watu bado pia tuna pray for long hours If Jesus alifanya this we can do that Bwana asifiwe kwa sababu he is the same yesterday today and forever and the best part he lives in us tuweze kuinduka kwa miguu yetu Koki kumbuka hiyo. Unaweza sawa hizo maneno zote nimesema. But kumbuka Hebrews 13 verse 8 that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, is the same today, is the same forever. Whether technology ikuje ama ikose kukuja, whether currency ikuje ama ikose kukuja, whether government ibadilike ama ikose kubadilika, one thing we know is that there is this man who is the same yesterday today and forever more nachukua tu da moja nataka tu uombe uambie Yesu Lord I want to be that person when I start believing in you again chukua tu da moja uweze tu kuomba uambie Yesu Lord I want to be that person when every time I enter into, into your presence I know who I am talking to I know who I am dealing with wakati na face any situation na kumbuka that you are still with me wakati nafanya some one to three I into my family na kumbuka that you are still with me usiombe tu just for the sake nataka u apply the name of Jesus the bible inasema that is the same yesterday today and forevermore whatever he did he can do right now 
Kwa hivyo chukua another one minute any situation in your life. Nataka uweze ku apply the name of Jesus. Nataka uweze kusema Lord I call unto you. Yeshua Hamashia, the lion that guards the city. I call unto your name into my health, into my business, into my family, into this church, into our nation. Say my Lord I call unto your name. Come and do what only you can do. We thank you about Father. We glorify your holy name. Twese tuko inua mikono yetu. Father Lord, we thank you. We bless you for everything. We have seen and we have heard. And Father Lord, we believe in your name. Your word says that your name is a strong tower that the righteous run to it, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And about Father, one thing that we know is that you are always with us. There is no way you are ready to leave us to walk by ourselves every moment, Lord, you are always with us. And King of Kings and Lord of Lords help us to walk as people who are children of God. Help us to walk as people who have your backup. Help us to walk as people who are full of your spirit, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Help us not just to use your name but not apply in your faith the faith into your name king of kings and lord of lords help us to apply faith in your name our father help us when we mention the your name king of kings and lord of lords doors are going to open walls are going to break down giants are going to fall down all in your name king of kings and lord of lords we thank you and we bless you for it is in Jesus my name we pray amen amen to be given a yesu makofi